Hey guys, it's Common Sense Survivalist here, and uh, we're just gonna make one of these uh, paracord keychains today. Um, as you can see, it's got two key rings on it, and um, it's just gonna be made out of basic paracord, basic 550. So um, I will sit you guys down, and we can get right to it. So hold on here a second. So what we will need to make our paracord keychain. It's just some scissors here, or a knife, whichever is sharper or works better. Um, two key rigs, as you can see. They are... I don't know how big they are, they're just usual key rings here. And, uh, let's say about four feet, four or five feet of paracord. Probably about five feet. Uh, so what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take the two ends of your paracord and put them together. And you're gonna have this, obviously. And at the other end, you're gonna have a loop, just like this. Okay? So now you're gonna take one of your key rings. I'm gonna do this up kind of close. And you're gonna put it, you're gonna put your paracord, paracord through the uh, key, key ring. And you're going to take your paracord, swing it around the side. And now you have a knot that looks kind of like this. Or you can just do it another way. Um, let's see. Okay. So you could also put this key ring here on the paracord if I can get it through there. There we go. And then you take your key ring, put it all the way down at the end. Now take your two ends and put it through the loop and pull it up tight and you will have something that looks exactly the same as what we did before. I like to do it the other way the first time the first way I showed you because it's a lot quicker. It's a lot easier too. So uh so you'll have this little knot here that gets tighter the more you pull on it. The more you pull on this the tighter it'll get. So don't worry about it coming undone. Now with your other keychain ring, if you guys know how to make a paracord bracelet, that's basically how you're going to do this, except with these key rings. There's some geese in the background there. Sounds like just one. So, so yeah. So then you have two, one key ring here and one key ring down here. So what you'll do is you'll figure out how long you want it to be. I want mine to be about six inches or so, maybe about five inches. Five inches looks good to me. About that long right there. And then you'll take one piece of paracord, put it over top of these other two strands, like this. Hold your key ring in place. Make a loop like this here. Okay, you take your other piece, pull it, dang, mosquitoes are bad today, uh, it is about September though, um, so now you're going to take your other piece, put it underneath the bracelet, or the keychain, sorry, I say that every time, every single time I make a video about this, and then you'll have, if you saw what I did there, I pulled the tail that was on this side, the tail that was on this side, I pulled it and put it over here. And now we're just going to pull these two knots tight. And we're going to pull these two tight. Just like that. So now, you're going to take it again, make a loop, put it under, pull it through the loop. I'm going to show that to you one more time. You're going to make a loop, put it under the tail, Pull it through the loop, and then pull tight. And then you just do that, and I will show you what you get when you get down here. So hold on a second. Um, uh, skip to sometime. <laughs> so once you get down here to the uh, to the end, where you can't go any farther or further, whichever you want to say. Um, as you can see, that's about where I'm at. 
So what you'll do is you'll just take some scissors and you will cut your paracord about half an inch from the keychain itself. And you only want to do that to one side before you go on to the next one. And you want to do that to one side before, you want to do that to one side and then melt it. And as you can see, I have used the slider a few times because it's got black stuff here on the front. But uh, you want to melt your paracord before you cut and melt the other side. Because if you cut and melt the other side first, okay, if you cut both sides at the same time, chances are pretty good that one of your knots are going to come undone and you're going to have to go back one space. And what I like to do is I like to cinch it up. What I do is I pull on the uh, paracord right here and I grab onto the ring and I just pull on the paracord and what it does is it cinches it up and gives you more space so if you want to waste less paracord and put more on it then that's what you can do so you'll just take your lighter And as you can see, I'm trying to melt this, but it's not working the best. We have just a slight breeze out here. We have some geese going by right now. Alright, now you just want to take a paracord that's been melted and just smush it against itself. And you want to do that because if you don't, chances are your bracelet or your keychain is going to fall apart. So now you're going to take your scissors again and you'll cut about a half inch from the keychain itself. Man the mosquitoes are horrible out here today. I got them biting me all up. That's why I'm moving around so much and doing this and doing that. But now you'll take your lighter again and melt your paracord here. Let me move to the other side so I can try to block the wind as best as I can. Man, that breezes. All right. So what I do is I use the metal tip right here, the metal tip of the lighter, and I just use it and smush. I just use it to smush the paracord after it's been melted. So once you have it melted, um, you are pretty much done. So uh, yeah. So thanks for watching guys, um, be sure to click the like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome survival videos. Um, I'm planning on doing a review on this on an emergency blanket I got from Walmart about a month ago. I haven't done it yet, but I'm planning on making a review on it. Um, no, I haven't actually tested it out, so I will have to do that here before too long. And stay tuned for more um, paracord bracelet videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.